there, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of DeSilva Life and a HoneyBook Pro. We have worked with so many incredible photography clients and have helped them really set up and maximize their HoneyBook to not only elevate their client experience, but automate so many parts. So in today's video, I just wanna give you a few tips as you're getting started, if you're wanting to utilize HoneyBook for your photography business. And before we dive in, I want to just say this. So many of our photographers say, you know, this is a very intimate field and I don't wanna automate the whole process because I still want it to be personal. Well, I'm gonna show you in the tutorials today how you do not have to have everything automated. That's not what it's all about. It's about making your life easier and nurturing your client well. So I have some tips in here where we can do both of those things. So you can have things as approved before sending to insert personal details, but our goal is to be able to template as much as possible so you don't have to recreate the wheel every time. So with that, let's dive into how you can set up and use your HoneyBook for your photography business. So let's go through HoneyBook for photographers. I'm so stoked about this tutorial because we work with so many photographers and the power of HoneyBook is unreal when it comes to really minimizing as much admin work as possible. So I'm just gonna go through the platform and some tips and tricks I have for you if you're brand new to HoneyBook or even if you've had HoneyBook for a while and you're just really wondering the different ways you can utilize it. I wanna show you just through it and how it can make your life so much easier. Okay, so let's dive in. So first let's talk about you gathering and keeping your leads organized. So no matter where you're getting inquiries, whether you have a contact form on your website or people are DMing you on Instagram, maybe they found you on Pinterest, keeping all of your leads in one place is so crucial so you don't have to be checking in all these different places letting people slip through the cracks emails on unread or dms or things like that so how you can streamline this process is by setting up honeybook contact forms now what this is you can make it as simple or as robust as you want is it's just where you're going to gather that information from that lead and it's going to funnel right into your honeybook pipeline so you can see here in my pipeline i have one project in inquiry john smith right so when it comes into inquiry that means someone has inquired and i haven't sent any correspondence brochures or anything back and forth so now you know okay this is exactly how many people I have that I have not reached back out to yet. So you might be like, okay, this is cool. What do I do with this contact form? Well, you can either copy the link and have this in your link in bio or send this to people directly. So you don't need a website. You can actually send them this and then do some really cool things with HoneyBook to really still elevate that client experience and showcase your brand, even if you don't have a website yet. But if you do have a website, you can actually embed this contact form. So if you click publish and grab this code, you can embed it on your website to look like it's a part of your website. So here you can see on our contact page, this looks like it's fully a part of our website, but this is our embedded HoneyBook contact form. So when someone fills this out, again, it funnels right into this leads pipeline. So once someone inquires, or if you added them manually as a new client, what's gonna happen is they're gonna have what's called their client project or portal. This is gonna be one place to keep everything. So all their emails, correspondence, files back and forth, they can actually upload images on their end. So if they have inspiration photos or things like that. And so every time you're working on their project, you can literally just pull up their project, you're in your portal and have everything you need back and forth. So I'm gonna show you some different features in the portal as well. So in here, you'll see activity right now in John Smith's project, I don't have any activity, but if I sent any files or emails or things back and forth, those would show up in this. Then you have files. If you did send any files, so here you could see I have some templates drafted here. Um, you would be able to see those files here, if they viewed them, if they've completed them, payments back and forth, 
and then project details as well. So their photo shoot date, their wedding date, whatever it is, what is the name of their project, and then what type of project. Is it a couple session, a wedding, an engagement shoot, etc. So then you can also store extra details, all that good stuff. So then you're able to track the stage and the lead source, but also have tasks for this project. So if I did um, edit gallery and then I picked a due date, you can also automate this process, which I'll show you later on in this video. And so then you can have a personalized task list for this person, and I'll also show you the task section in the home screen as well. And then you can add automations and workflows. Create new, you can see the different things. You can create contracts, invoices, proposals, questionnaires, services, custom smart files. So literally everything's in one place. Okay, so this is a look into the client portal. Now let's talk about saving some time where you don't have to coordinate your schedules ever again. So when someone inquires, if you are the type of person who wants to grab a consult call with that person, touch base with them, learn about them, what exactly are they looking for? Instead of saying, hey, what time are you free for a call and going back and forth trying to coordinate your schedules, you can create schedulers. So if I go to tools scheduling, you'll see I have a bunch of different sessions within my HoneyBook account, but if I just went to consult call, so I have a Zoom consult call, but typically photographers, you probably do a phone consult call. So you can create a scheduler, put in your specific availability, how long you want those calls to be, and then when I click save and finish, this is linked with my Google Calendar. So when I click preview and I send this to my client, on their end, they're gonna see, okay, what time does Christy have availability? They choose a time, it shows up in your Google Calendar, it's blocking off anything that you already have in there. If it's personal meetings or other photography sessions, they'll be able to just pick a time, fill in their information, boom, it's amazing. Okay, now let's get into templates. So we're still in the inquiry process, right? They use the contact form, you sent them a call, a scheduler, but maybe with the scheduler and the email saying, hey, thanks so much for inquiring, maybe you wanna send them a packages brochure so they know how much your packages even are. Well, this is where you can do this in your template center with the rollout of smart files. I actually wanna show you a sample one that's a style guide, but just to get started, I wanna go into the template gallery, which you will also have access to. You can see the different um, templates that they have here, the sam sample ones for photographers. And here you can see you could do proposals, contracts, pricing guides, um, questionnaires. So let's look at this one, this brand photography pricing guide. So here, if I click edit this template, I'm gonna be able to actually go in and make this template my own, but let's just preview it so you can get the feel of what these smart files type pricing guide brochures can do. So here's where you can upload your branding colors, your logos, all of your photos and make it totally your own. This is where smart files are literally like a mini website. So even if you don't have your website up and running yet, you can absolutely really deck out this experience. So here it says, ready for impactful images that tell your brand's story, a little bit about you, what's the process of working together. Then you can see the different session types. You can put in what's the investment, what are your packages. We build these out for so many photographers, whether they're just wedding photographers or they have wedding photography and couple sessions, family sessions, etc. And sometimes people also choose to build different service brochures depending on their offers. So we will build for them one brochure for weddings, one brochure for portraits, one brochure for couple sessions, and then the whole brochure is branded with those type of photos so your client can envision themselves in that setting. So you can see here are the different things. They can actually select this, and if they make a selection, this can draft a proposal for you. Fill in the client information, fill in their package. Literally, you can send it over with a click of a button. Amazing. And then next steps. So you can see 
how awesome this is. You can also do like a portfolio page and have a ton of different images in there as well. But it really just makes this personalized client experience. And you'll also be able to showcase your prices, which is pre-qualifying that lead where maybe you don't want to have your prices on your website but they can still get the prices right upon inquiry and then decide is it in budget do they want to grab a call with you yes or no okay so that is the service guide pricing guide right check out the template gallery it's seriously awesome and then let's go just really quickly through the other type of templates so here you can have obviously you know invoices and contracts but my actually favorite template is a proposal so what a proposal is is just an invoice and a contract in one so you have a contract here invoice payment and then a thank you page you can deck this out and make a little bit of personality in there if you want so basically what we have in these, and I have a ton of other videos on our YouTube channel about smart files and these specific files, contracts, invoices, proposals, etc. So if you want to deep dive into those, we have them there. And then also our HoneyBook course, which will be linked in the description. And so, but basically what this is gonna do is if you use smart fields, these are smart fields right here, and you pull in project information, so the client's name, their email, the project date, things like that, when you click use this template, so let me go ahead and update this template. When I click use template and I attach it to a client project, it's going to auto fill all these fields in here. So saving time, sending the contract, the invoice, you could have standard payment plans and set it to auto pay. So if you have different payment plans, it will auto draft the following payments. And the contract and, the contract and invoice are in one place for your client, making it super, super easy. So you can just see the client experience is seamless going from, let me go back to contract, to invoice, to payment. Okay, so that is that template. You can also have questionnaires, so maybe you're a wedding photographer and you wanna put your questionnaire in here for um, the timeline. What does the timeline look of their day? What are specific shots that they really wanna capture? And then let me show you one of my favorite things that we do for our people too is photography style guide. So shout out to our amazing friend and photographer, Sarah Tuhel for capturing these photos. Um, this is actually Jeff and I, my husband and business partner, but we create custom things like this for you as well. If you're a client and we do a photography honeybook build for you, but I just wanna show you really what this could look like, right? So imagine someone books a couple session or a family session, and as soon as they book, they get a welcome email with a style guide, a what to wear guide, or maybe you wanna automate sending this two weeks before their session, whatever it is, look at how cool this client experience is. So we just have this what to wear guide with some of your photos showcasing, giving them inspiration, and then just getting them ready for their photo shoot. So what to wear guide, you could see, wear neutral colors, dress comfortably, etc. And this is all within HoneyBook and you can automate the process of sending this guide. So those are just a couple examples of the templates that you can build out within HoneyBook. And now lastly, I want to talk about automation. So I know I've mentioned it a little bit throughout this video, but you really can automate the process of your client experience. And now a lot of times I get from my photographers that they don't want to automate the whole thing because photography is very personal and they want to have that personalized touch. Well, I'm all about that too, and it's absolutely your preference. So you can also have things as approved before sending to insert personal details, but still save you so much time. So having these templates and then also having your canned email templates mapped out. So welcome emails, right? So contact form autoresponder, following up with brochures, sending proposals, welcome emails, style guides, etc this is what you can put together. 
So here we are in an example automation within HoneyBook. So if you just see this first little module, this could be immediately automated from the contact form being filled out. Now with your contact form, you have an option to put your project types. So they can say, I'm interested in wedding photography, family photography, couple session, etc. And then it attaches the proper automation that has the right emails and brochures. So you can have a brochure, whether you have one brochure or one for each service. It has the contact form autoresponder and it's saying, thanks so much for reaching out. I'm super excited about working with you, etc. Here's the link to my service brochure that is literally automated. Then you can have maybe a task saying check if their project date, wedding date, whatever it is, is available. And then you can have follow-up emails as well, just waiting for you to go ahead, approve, and send. So you can see draft and send proposal, sending follow-ups after the proposal, immediately after the contract is signed. You can send them a welcome email. Maybe you're sending them that style guide. Um, hyping them up before their wedding, their photo shoot, etc. 30 days away, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm so excited, do you need anything for me? And so you're really seeing the power that HoneyBook has to automate. Just like simple things like that, you can even put in here, you know, a reminder for yourself to buy a client gift or to, um, create their gallery, send sneak peeks, right? So just wanted to show you through this, gathering the testimonials, making that an automated process so you don't forget. So you can see the power that Automations has. And then one last thing I actually wanna show you is with the tasks. So now I'm back in John Smith's project, right? So I have this task in here, edit gallery. And if I go into the task section, I'm gonna see on my to-do list for today, I have edit gallery, it's for John Smith. If I wanted to pop back into that project, I just click that button there. And then I can either complete it here or go back into John Smith's project and complete it, and then I'm good to go. If anything is filling in from workflows from the automation section, you can also view and approve and send follow-up emails from here as well. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and just gave you some more understanding and the power that HoneyBook has, not only to elevate your client experience, but really make your life so much easier. And it honestly acts like your assistant, doing so much admin for you, keeps you super, super organized so no leads are slipping through the cracks. HoneyBook is the bomb. So if you have not signed up yet, for a subscription, I actually have a 50% off your first year code in the description below. Also, if you're wanting step-by-step -step tutorials, templates, all the things you need for your HoneyBook journey, we also have a HoneyBook course. So all the resources will be in the description. Make sure to check it out. And that's it for this tutorial. So I hope that video was helpful for you and learning really the power that HoneyBook has to not only help you get organized and streamline your client booking process, but to nurture your clients really well. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel because there are so many other HoneyBook tutorials that could be super helpful for you. We also have an entire course on HoneyBook, which is gonna have all the video tutorials and resources you need to get your entire account set up. So I'll make sure to drop that in the description below. And with that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.